Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to episode 124 of the Army series. So for like the past few episodes or like uh, two weeks-ish, I've just been doing Corporal Beast because ever since I started, you know, I was just addicted to it. I really wanted to get Sigil and yes, we actually did on the last episode on the 308 KC. We got the Arcane Sigil, so now I do have the Arcane Spirit Shield. With that done, I am now back to Variety, so gonna be mixing it up between a lot of different content you know trying to wrap up god wars uh, we only got two items left the armadillo hilt and the helmet to finish off all the god wars items and in terms of raids i'm always gonna be hitting up raids trying to get more unique items because there's still a bunch more especially that twisted bow so we're going back to variety again and please enjoy today's episode if you have the cooking cape now and you wear it you don't even need like cooking gauntlets, you don't even need to worry about like Hosidius range because you can cook any food without fail as long as you have the cape on. A plus update right there. It's been a long while since I've gotten a late clue but I got one from fishing and that is really nice. I would love to uh, go ahead and start the master clue because I should be able to. I'm going to turn this in and get one. Yes! Oh, 20 tries later, guys. I got the plus 5 boost for this. You know what? I'm kind of inspired now to like just grind and actually get to 90 fire making. I mean, it's fire making. It's super easy. I should really get around to getting that. I hope this one's really good. Here we go. Oh, shit. What is this? Guthix page 4, huh? So, I cannot use my quest point cave anymore because uh, a new quest came out. The client of Corin, you know, very uh, good quest, super easy. So let's do it. Well, this quest is definitely a beginner's quest, but it is actually uh, quite informative, especially for people that you know haven't gone to Zaya yet, because you basically just go around Zaya, uh, each of the different factions, and you talk to people. That's it. And yeah, you get a lot of information about this place and whatnot, and it is 100 actually 200% worth doing just because of the rewards for how easy it is so there you go all the quests is done once again double favor game for all houses amazing amazing all right let's just see if it works yep got my quest cape in working order again yo don't be like me and forget to do like the weekly tears of god because i think i missed out on like uh, two weeks when i was uh too busy focusing on corp so i missed out on like 20k room crafting or something but yeah, 42k to 78 for me, I think in about 4 weeks time, I'll get that uh, with little effort. So it's time to get back to the Amado grind. I decided to swap out the DFS for the Arcane just cause I use magic a lot anyways and the defensive of the Arcane, uh, first is the uh, DFS isn't too far off. Yeah, I think I might benefit a bit more or about the same. Definitely want to just give this a try though. It'll definitely make uh, bursting and freezing all that a lot easier at the boss without sacrificing too much of my existing gear and setup. Oh, nice. Got a clue scroll hard. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. What? Well, there we go. We got place soldiers now um, for Armadale chain skirt. Holy shit, man. Anyways, just finished a trip with the Arcane and yeah, a pretty good impression so far. Definitely landing more of my freezes and barrages, heals and stuff. So uh, yeah, gonna keep using this. Who needs it? Who needs to do any of this? Oh my god! Yes! Oh, how long have I been waiting for you, baby? Wow, dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, we got it! The Armadale helmet. That brings the tears to my eyes, yes! Second trip back, guys. Oh my goodness. That is awesome, man. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, man. I don't know why I'm so happy. It's, it's just the Armadale helmet. I know, I know. It's just the Armadale helmet, but dude. Yo, I've been, I've been looking for this, you know, for like months now at this point. Yo, I am, I am so, so happy for this. Well, that means all that's left, guys, is uh, the Armadale Hilt, and then I'm out of here. Like, you know, I'm officially retiring from God Wars. <laughs> Hell yeah! Let's go! 
Uh, we're trying out some pretty dank Armadale metas right now because uh, silly me forgot to bring the red chins to Armadale. So yeah, I only have the crossbow to play around with, but um, we're doing all right. Still got you know some supplies left, and I'm on my I think fifth kill. So just Armadale crossbow method and freezing the melee minion, and, you know, getting away from it and stuff. Uh, seems to be somewhat effective. So not the worst thing you know to happen if you. Uh, don't bring your chins. I, I highly recommend you bring your chins though. Well, that's great. So I have pretty much all of the uh, follow items uh, finished now. So that's great. I'm actually gonna put in the regular tab. Robin Hood had, uh, I guess I'll be putting this back in the treasure trail tab since the armor the helmet's like the thing to wear nowadays for me. So, but yeah, that's great. Almost done with all the God War stuff, guys. You know, full bandos, basically all the Saradum and stuff. All the Zami stuff. All that's left is the the hilts. Oh my god, an elite clue scroll. <laughs> Yo, that's like my fourth elite clue scroll, dude, from raids. Oh my god, it's over. Uh, it's over, man. Ah, uh, this is the second time I've gotten this. Uh, I had to drop it the first time because the fishing trawler was just so AIDS. But it's coming back to haunt me once again, so um, I'm gonna give it another shot. If I don't get this goddamn set done in, in a few days, screw this master clue, I'm dropping you. Alright, round two, fishing trawler. <laughs> Please give me a piece. Oh yes, I got one. Oh wow, finally dude. Yeah, I finally got a piece. Yeah boy. Oh hell no dude, I wasn't recording. Oh my goodness, that's amazing man. We got the second piece. Dude, I remember the first time. I did like 20 of them and I got absolutely nothing. So, yeah, now that I've given it a second chance, man, we're actually starting to get angler pieces really, well, I wouldn't say really fast, but um, reasonably fast. So, yo, that's awesome, man. It's only two pieces left. I, for some reason, I thought it was five, but all the skilling ones, outfit wise, are four. So, wow. I just need the. Leggings and the hats and then we are done Another try here we go Yes, oh my god, dude This is great stuff guys great stuff Already three pieces man Why do I say already man, you know, I've already been doing this for a few hours already, but uh, I am so close now Last piece, guys. One more. Okay. Oh, shit. Popo, come on, man. Yes! Woohoo! Yes! Oh, my goodness. Never again, guys. We're done. We are done! Oh, my goodness. I can't believe this, guys. First attempt, like, a few months ago. Didn't work out too well getting the anglers, but we came back strong, boys. And girls, we got the full angler. I can continue this master clue. So that's another uh, emote clue requirement for the master clue completed. And the only things that are left is like the black dragon mask and like a Sammy full helm. And maybe one other thing or two other things. All from like hard clue scrolls. But yeah, they're quite RNG. So uh, hopefully we can get those eventually. But I'm glad, man. We got all the anglers. And also, I do fish a lot. So this will definitely give me some nice XP boost on the side now that I already have it. So yeah, it'll definitely uh, play its part in, in this character. Oh, what is this, man? I log on today to see that I can't wear my music cape anymore. What 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 is missing? What's going on? All right, let me check this music. What is not unlocked? Diverse dungeons? Oh, right, right, right. Damn, dude. So Neve's dungeon got this mantle, uh, basically. You know how there's like a shit ton of Slayer monsters? Yeah, update came out. They split up quite a bit of the, the monsters into various areas. Which is uh, good in a sense and bad in a sense. But yeah, for me, I need to go explore all these areas. You know, get the music tracks. And yeah, we should be uh, good to get this music cave back. I think this is the music piece that I'm missing. The darkness in the depths, and uh, it's probably have to do with this uh, newer part of the you know Slayer update. 
Yes, I unlocked it. Cool. All right. So this new place. Wow. Uh, this looks really, really good. So I'm just playing the music that they added, you know, for this new area, and I'm glad that the mod still, you know, have the time and the appreciation to add new music for new pieces of content. So yeah, really does uh, add to the immersion of this game. So uh, this is the final floor with the black demons. There's definitely plenty of them to go around with, so <laughs> gonna be no problems, you know, finding uh, spots to kill these. Yep, boy. Next part, we got. All right, we got it. We can do this. How many steps in this master clue? Okay, we're on the fifth one. We're good. Yo, these master clues be surprising me every single time. I gotta kill a fire shade in the uh, shade catacombs. And I remember I had this key before, you know, because uh, I was getting this thing and I never thought I needed the key again. I never thought I needed to go back in, but I do. And I dropped those items, so I have to go get it back. Rip. That's crazy, man. Apparently, you can solo the uh, Shades of More minigame by yourself if you wear the uh, Flam Tear bracelet. Holy shit, that's crazy. And that should be Master Clue Step done. And I will definitely not be dropping this silver key ever again, so. All right, the angler fish grind paid off, man. We got the reward, so let's open up this master clue. Oh, damn, dude. That's kind of harsh, but I will certainly take the uh, the food and all that stuff. That's really nice, actually. Actually, not the worst reward. We got tons of limber wood, so that's nice. <laughs> So I decided I'm definitely gonna go back to doing Zora and uh, try to consistently, you know, get a good amount of kills uh, every now and then just because I am going to be running out of supplies soon yet again. Main problem obviously is the skill, so I gotta make sure I do enough to upkeep my skill use for a bunch of PVM. And it's also just nice to get some more uh, resources like raw sharks and, you know, those uh, tree seeds and all that stuff. So this is my new uh, edition of my Zoro gear and I don't think I'm gonna be changing it anytime soon cuz I don't think I can ever beat this so full on magic switch basically with a uh, void range and also this code I want is just unlimited uh, water runes and best accuracy I got so I can just land uh, vulnerability before the start of the fight just makes the kill a bit easier for my uh, previous experience on my old hardcore actually does help so yeah this setup is freaking kick-ass it's gonna be really fun probably Damn, dude, I am so freaking accurate. What the hell, man? This gear is freaking crazy. My newest setup for Zora was almost perfect, but then I realized that I needed to make Anti Venom Plus. The regular Anti Venom is just not good enough to be able to uh, switch with void and stuff because you still get Venom. So, yes, I do need the Anti Venom Plus. And it is 94 Herblore. Luckily for me, I actually don't need to go through the effort of uh, boosting using stews. You know how annoying that is. Instead, I can make this uh, new pie, the botanical pie, very easy to make. All you need is this Galanova fruit that I'm trying to get off uh, the stall right now. And obviously, you get two uh, bites per pie. So it's a uh, guaranteed plus four Herblore. So that's more than enough uh, boost that I need to, you know, make the anti venom plus. And that's it, man. All right, these botanical pies are amazing. Highly recommend using this if you want to boost for herbal next time. Damn, we're shredding him. Boom. New setup is OP. Oh, nice. I just got a new personal best. Hell yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about, guys. All right, that was a fun little hour or so uh, against Zora using the new setup. And yeah, it is quite nice. I'm definitely going to be coming back because... Yo, these skills, man, they go fast, so we're gonna be uh, back here again in no time. Been quite a bit since the last Hunter level, but there it is, 88 Hunter. Two more to go for a, another level 90 skill, so that's great. So, gotta upkeep those chins for that Armadale grind, so. Trying to push this guy a little more. Nice, got him. <laughs> you can actually do that, just push them to the spot. Okay, that was great, look at that. Um, 13 kills. This trip might be my uh, personal best for off task with Red Chin, so yeah, pretty impressed with that. On today's episode, I did manage to uh, get quite a bit of things done, especially that Armadale helmet. 
The Armadale Helmet is, of course, another unique piece, and it's been something that I've been looking forward to for the longest time because there's so many times where I've been doing these massive clue scrolls, but freaking follow just keeps asking me for this goddamn chicken helmet. So I had to, you know, drop those, but not anymore. And also for Inglers, for the Masters, and a bunch of other things we got done in this episode, so I'm really happy about that. Anyways, if you are new to the series and you want to stay up to date with future videos from this channel, feel free to subscribe. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, especially to those of you that watched uh, all the way to the end. I really appreciate that. And I hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Take care.